Welcome to Signal and System playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain unit step signal. So to explain unit step signal, first I'll explain function, graphical representation. Then I'll explain properties of unit step signal. And those properties are so essential to solve problem based on unit step signal. So all those things that I'll explain step by step. So let us begin this session with first how we can note this unit step signal. So to note unit step signal, it is noted by u of t in continuous time and by u of n in discrete time. So it is denoted by u of t in continuous time and u of n in discrete time. Now see how it will be there in terms of function. So when we talk about function, function then u of t in terms of continuous time it will be 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for t less than 0. So as if you see its graphical representation then you will be finding if it is zero, if this is 0 reference then from 0 it is having magnitude 1 for unit step and it will be 1 till infinite and its magnitude is 0 for value of time lower than 0. So if t is less than 0, it will be 0 and for t greater than or equal to 0, it is 1. Now for discrete time, we note it as u of n and its function is having value 1 for integer value n greater than or equal to 0 and it is 0 for n integer value less than 0 and to note it down if I draw a samples then see over here 0th sample is there here minus 1 minus 2 here 1 2 3 4 likewise samples are there right so for less than 0 sample its value is 0 so over here you will be finding value is 0 but for n equals to 0 and for n greater than or equal to 0 its value is 1. So see this is how its value is 1 sample wise you can see. So for n greater than or equal to 0 its value is 1 in discrete time. So this is how unit step signal is there. So these are the functions in continuous time and discrete time. Now see here <clears throat> few properties that is so essential so that I will discuss here. So it will be more clear in terms of example solution. So let us discuss few properties. Now see first property. So first property says if you have u of t to the power n so that is equals to u of t why the reason is value of u of t is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0 so if you make power n of that then 1 to the power n that is 1 only so u of t to the power n that is equals to u of t so this is one property one more property let us discuss it see if you have u of t minus t0 to the power n. So that is even u of t minus t0. So that is even essential that is coming based on that on this property only. If you shift it and if you make power of n of that shifted version then that will be u of u of means step unit step of shifted version only right. And next is 
if you have time scaling property like see u of a t so that is u of t only so if you do time scaling of unit step function so that will result into u of t only so if you scale this means you multiply any constant with time so that is what time scaling but time scaling will not affect this unit step function so u of a t that is actually u of t now why this is so essential so to understand that let us have few cases so it will be more clear like see if i take example u of a t minus t 0 so here if i take a common then this will be t minus t 0 by a right so i'm just taking a common from this time so it will be u of a into t minus t 0 by a and as we know u of a t that is u of t so obviously here this a will get eliminated so you will be having this is u of t minus t 0 by a so this type of problem that is so essential in solution of examples so that's why i have mentioned these properties so one should know these properties time scaling will not affect shifted version raised to power something will be that only means shifted version only so here if time scaling is happening in that case you just mention it as per that only so here if it is like u of a t minus t 0 so that will be actually u of t minus t 0 by a so here sometimes you do this type of mistake like false answer that you may choose it based on this calculation i have seen students are doing that mistake like u of a t minus t 0 that they do it as per this u of t minus a t 0 so this is false answer and there are some possibilities so i have seen students are doing this kind of mistake so they should see they should take common and then they should make it alone variable by taking common and then they can write directly like this right so this is one essential property let us have one more case so it will be more clear like this is what i have seen in one gate examination so i am writing this example here u of 2t minus 4 so that was the case and we are dealing with to identify possible options i am not writing options i am just writing solution of it so solution for that is if you take 2 common then it will be t minus 4 by 2 so that is actually u of 2 into t minus 2 so we can eliminate this 2 so this will be u of t minus 2 so u of 2t minus 4 that is actually u of t minus 2 so this type of questions are coming in gate examination so we should be ready for this type of questions and one more thing that we all should know like when you taste any system when you taste any system usually we use unit step signal to taste any system so unit step signal that is a base signal to taste any signal system so you need step signal is based signal to taste any system so you will be finding when we taste stability of system at that time we will be placing a signal input signal as a unit step and then we try to identify whether this system is having bounded input to bounded output response or not so for this kind of checking we usually use unit step signal so unit step signal that is a base signal to test any system so in case of checking of stability we use unit step signal i hope that you have understood this session 
Please give your valuable, valuable response here by writing comments. Definitely based on your comments in future I will make subjects as well as videos. So please give your valuable feedback. Thank you so much for watching this video.